For storm chasing, there is no place like the Great Plains. Tornado Alley has miles upon miles of flat, open country where you can see virtually forever. Tracking storms in this region makes it easy to see what's going on with the storm and the hazards that it is producing. March and April saw hundreds of tornadoes, but not in the traditional Tornado Alley. In the southeastern states, the land is not as flat and clear, with many areas full of hills and trees, making chasing a storm much more difficult. Oh, yeah, I see the funnel. Imagine a storm like this from Nebraska, and you can see under it for miles. But take that same storm and track it across central Mississippi, and it's a whole different type of chasing. You are usually limited to a very narrow view ahead of you, and you may not realize the storm even has a tornado until it's right there. Storm chasers have to rely more on radar, trying to drive where a storm will cross so they can find the best area around them to view the storm for as long as they can, and even with a somewhat open area, the terrain may still block it. Roads in the plains usually run straight, often in a grid pattern, but in the southeast, you're limited to very curvy roads with fewer routes, making it easier to lose a storm. 2025 has been very active in areas that are difficult to chase, but as the season goes on, those setups will start to shift back west into the Great Plains of Tornado Alley, a welcome sight to chasers not only because they can track storms much more easily, but they can do so in areas that are much less populated than the southeast, meaning the impacts can be much less while the views can be much more. For AccuWeather, I'm meteorologist Tony Lawback.